In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. And there is no moving creature on the earth, but its sustenance is on Allah, and He knows its resting place and its depository. All is recorded in a clear book. And He it is who created the heavens and the earth within six days, periods, and His throne was over the water, so that He might try you, which of you is best in conduct. And if you were to say to them, Verily you shall be raised up after death, the unbelievers would surely say, This is not but a manifest sorcery. And if we postpone the penalty from them until a limited period of time, they will surely say, What prevents it? Beware! On the day it will come to them, it shall not be turned aside from them, and they will be encompassed by that which they used to mock. If we make man taste mercy from ourselves, and then take it off from him, verily he is despairing, ungrateful. And if we make him taste our favours after adversity has afflicted him, he will say, The evils have departed from me, verily he is joyous, boastful. Accept those who are patient and constant, and do deeds of righteousness, for them is forgiveness and a great reward. So perhaps you may be inclined to give up a part of what is revealed unto you, and your breast becomes straitened by it, lest they say, Why has not a treasure been sent down unto him, or an angel not come with him? Verily you are only a warner, and Allah is custodian over everything. Or do they say, He has forged it? Say, Bring you then ten surahs forged like unto it and call to your aid whomsoever you can, other than Allah, if you are truthful. If then they do not answer your call, know that it is sent down by the knowledge of Allah, and that there is no Allah but He. Will you then submit to Islam? Whoever desires the life of this world and its adornment, we shall pay them in full the recompense for their deeds therein, and they will not be defrauded therein. But these are they for whom there is naught in the hereafter but the fire, and what they have wrought in it shall fail, and vain shall be what they were doing. Is he then like unto him who has a clear proof from his Lord, and follows him a witness from him, and before it is the book of Moses, a guide and a mercy testifying it? These believe in it, but whoever of the different parties disbelieves in it, the hellfire is the promised place. So be you not in doubt on it. Verily it, the Qur'an, is the truth from your Lord, but most of the people do not believe. And who is more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah? On the day of resurrection, these will be presented before their Lord, and the witnesses, the prophets and angels will say, These are those who lied against their Lord. Beware, the curse of Allah is on the unjust. Those who hinder people from the path of Allah and seek to make it crooked, and they are themselves unbelievers as to the hereafter. They will in no way frustrate his design on the earth, nor shall there be for them any protectors besides Allah. The penalty will be doubled for them. They could not bear to hear the truth, and they used not to see it. These are they who have lost their own selves, and that which they used to invent has failed them. Assuredly, they will be the greatest losers in the hereafter. Verily, those who believe and work righteousness, and humble themselves before their Lord, they will be companions of the garden, paradise. They will abide therein forever. The similitude of the two parties is like the blind and the deaf, and the seeing ones and the hearing ones. Are they equal in likeness? Will you not then admonish? And verily we sent Noah to his people, saying, I am a plain warner for you. That you serve none but Allah, verily I do fear for you the penalty of a painful day. Then the chiefs of those who disbelieved among his people said, We do not see in you but a man like ourselves, nor do we see that any follow you but those who are the meanest among us, at first thought nor do we see in you any excellence over us. Nay, we think you are liars. He said, O my people, bethink you, 
If I be upon a clear proof from my Lord, and he has grant me mercy from his presence, but has been obscured for you, shall we compel you to accept it while you are averse to it? And, O my people, I ask you no wealth for it. My reward is only upon Allah, and I will not drive away those who believe, for verily they shall meet their Lord, but I see you are an ignorant people. And, O my people, who will help me against Allah if I drove them away? Will you not then reflect? And I do not say to you that Allah's treasures are with me, nor do I know the unseen, nor do I claim to be an angel, nor do I say about those whom your eyes do despise that Allah will never grant them any good. Allah is well aware of what is in their hearts, for verily then I should be of the unjust. They said, O Noah, you have disputed with us and multiplied disputation with us. Bring us then what you have promised us of divine punishment if you are truthful. He said, Verily Allah will bring it to you, if he wills, and you will not be able to frustrate it. And my advice will not profit you, should I intend to give you advice, if Allah wills to lead you astray. He is your Lord, and unto him you will be returned. Or they say, He has forged it. Say, If I have forged it, upon me is my sin, and I am quit of the sins you commit. And it was revealed unto Noah, None of your people will believe except those who have already believed, so do not grieve as to what they used to do. And make you the ark under our eyes, and as we reveal, and address me not about those who are unjust, verily they shall be drowned. And he began making the ark, and whenever the chiefs of his people passed by him, they scoffed at him. He said, if you scoff at us, we too shall surely scoff at you as you scoff. So you shall know soon to whom a penalty that will confound him comes, and upon whom there shall fall a lasting penalty. Thus it was till when our command came, and the oven gushed forth water, we said, Embark therein of each kind a pair, and your family apart from your wife and a son, except for those him against whom the word has already passed, and whoever believed, but there believed not with him but a few. And he, Noah, said, Embark on it, in Allah's name shall be its sailing and its birthing. Verily my Lord is the forgiving, the merciful. So it sailed with them amid waves like mountains, and Noah called out to his son, and he was aloof, O my son, embark with us, and be not with the unbelievers. He said, I will take refuge in a mountain, it will save me from the water. Said he, Noah, today there is no protector from Allah's decree, but of whom he has mercy. And the waves came between them, and he was among the drowned. And it was said, O earth, swallow down your water, and O sky, withhold your rain and the water abated, and the matter was ended, and it, the ark, rested on the Mount Judy, and it was said, Away with the unjust people. And Noah called unto his Lord, and said, O my Lord, verily my son is of my family, and certainly your promise is true, and you are the most just of judges. He, Allah, said, O Noah, verily he is not of your family, Verily he is of conduct other than righteous. So do not ask of me that of which you have no knowledge. I admonish you, lest you should be among the ignorant. He, Noah, said, O my Lord, verily I seek refuge in you, lest I should ask you for that of which I have no knowledge. And unless you forgive me and have mercy on me, I should be of the losers. It was said, O Noah, Debark in peace from us, and blessings upon you and on the nations of those with you, and nations whom we shall afford provision, then there shall afflict them from us a painful chastisement. O prophet, these are of the tidings of the unseen which we reveal unto you. Before this, neither you nor your people knew them. Therefore, 
be you patient, verily the end is for the pious ones. And unto the people of Ard we sent their brother Hud. He said, O my people, worship Allah, you have no god other than he, you are only forgerers of calumnies. Hud said, O my people, I ask you no reward for it, my reward is only upon him who created me, have you then no sense? And O my people, ask forgiveness of your Lord, then turn unto him repentant. He will send you the sky pouring abundant rain, increasing you strength unto your strength, and do not turn back from the truth as sinners. They said, O Hood, you have brought us no clear proof, and we shall not abandon our gods for your word, nor are we believers in you. We say nothing but that some of our gods have smitten you with evil. He said, Verily I call Allah to witness and bear you also witness that I am quit of what you associate with Allah. Besides him, I am quit of everything you worship. Therefore, scheme your worst against me altogether and give me no respite. Verily I have put my trust in Allah, my Lord and your Lord. For there is no moving creature but he holds it in his control by its forelock. Verily my Lord is on a straight path. But if you turn away from my call, I have conveyed the message with which I was sent to you, and my Lord will make another people to succeed you, and you will not harm him in the least. Verily my Lord is guardian over everything. And when our decree came, we saved Hud and those who believed with him by a mercy from us, and delivered them from a harsh chastisement. And this was the people of Ard. They rejected the signs of their Lord, and disobeyed his messengers, and followed the command of every obstinate tyrant. And they were pursued by a curse in this world, and on the day of resurrection. Behold, the Ard disbelieved in their Lord. So away with Ard, the people of Hud. And unto the people of Thamud we sent their brother Saleh. He said, O my people, worship Allah, you have no god other than he. It is he who produced you from the earth and settled you therein. So ask forgiveness of him, and turn unto him in repentance. Surely my Lord is nigh, responsive. They said, O Saleh, you have hitherto been a source of hope among us. Do you now forbid us to worship what our fathers worshipped? Truly we are in disquieting doubt as to that unto which you invite us. He, Saleh, said, O my people, bethink you if I be upon a clear proof from my Lord, and he has sent mercy unto me from himself, who will then help me against Allah if I were to disobey him? So you do not add to me other than loss. O my people, this she-camel of Allah is a sign for you. So leave her alone to graze in Allah's earth, and do not touch her with any harm, lest a swift chastisement will seize you. So they hamstrung her. Then he said, Enjoy yourselves in your abode for three days. Then will be your ruin. That is a promise not to be belied. And when our decree came to pass, we saved Saleh, and those who believed with him by a mercy from us, and delivered them from the ignominy of that day. Verily your Lord is the All-Strong, the Almighty. And the mighty blast overtook those who were unjust, so they became motionless corpses in their abodes, as if they had never dwelt there. Behold, verily Thamud rejected their Lord. Behold, away with Thamud. And certainly our messengers, the angels, came to Abraham with glad tidings. They said, Peace. He answered, Peace. And he did not delay to bring a roasted calf. But when he saw their hands extended not towards it, he mistrusted them and conceived a fear of them. They said, Fear not. We have been sent against the people of Lot. And his wife was standing by, and she laughed when we gave her the glad tidings of the birth of Isaac, and after Isaac, of Jacob. She said, Woe to me! Shall I bear a child when I am an old woman, 
and this my husband is an old man? Verily this is a wonderful thing. They said, Do you wonder at Allah's decree? The grace of Allah and his blessings on you, O people of the house. Verily he is praiseworthy, glorious. So when fear had passed from Abraham and the glad tidings reached him, he began disputing with us concerning the people of Lot. Verily Abraham was indeed forbearing, tender-hearted, penitent. O Abraham, forsake this. Indeed the decree of your Lord has come to pass, and surely there is coming upon them an irreversible chastisement. And when our messengers, the angels, came to Lot, he was grieved for them, and felt straitened to protect them. He said, This is a distressful day. And his people came rushing towards him, and aforetime they had been practicing abominations. He said, O my people, here are my daughters, they are purer for you. So fear Allah, and do not degrade me with my guests. Is there not among you one upright man? They said, You know we have no right to your daughters, and verily you know well what we desire. He said, Would that I had the power against you, or I might take refuge in a strong support. They, the guests, said, O Lot, verily we are messengers of your Lord, never shall they reach you, so travel with your family in a part of the night, and let none of you look back but your wife. Surely she shall be smitten by that which smites them. Verily their appointed time is the morning, is not the morning nigh? When our command came, we turned it, their township, upside down, and rained on it stones of baked clay, layer on layer. Marked with your Lord, and it is not far off from the unjust ones. And to the people of Madian, we sent their brother Shu'aib. He said, O my people, worship Allah. You have no other Allah than He, and do not give short measure and wait. Verily I see you in prosperity, and I fear for you the punishment of an all-encompassing day. And O my people, fill up the measure and the balance in justice, and do not diminish the people their things, and do not make mischief in the land, working corruption. The lawful wealth which is left by Allah is better for you, if you be believers, and I am not a guardian over you. They said, O Shu'aib, does your prayer command you that we should leave off that our fathers worshipped, or we should forsake to do what we like with our property? Truly you are the forbearing, the right-minded. He said, O my people, bethink you, if I be upon a clear proof from my Lord, and he has provided me with fair sustenance from him, and I desire not, in opposition to you, to do that which I forbid you from it, I desire naught save reform so far as I am able. My success is only with Allah. On Him do I rely, and unto Him I turn repentant. And, O my people, let not your breach with me cause you to sin, lest befalls you the like of what befell the people of Noah, or the people of Hud, or the people of Saleh, and the people of Lot are not far off from you. Then come and ask forgiveness of your Lord, and turn unto him in repentance. Verily my Lord is merciful, loving. They said, O Shu'aib, we do not understand much of what you say, and most surely we see you weak among us. Were it not for your family, we would certainly stone you, and you are not mighty against us. He said, O my people, is then my family more esteemed with you than Allah, and you cast him behind your back with neglect? Verily my Lord encompasses what you do. And O my people, act according to your ability, I will do my part. Soon you will know on whom comes the penalty disgracing him, and who it is a liar. And watch you, verily I too am watching with you. And when our command came, we saved Shu'aib and those who believed with him by a mercy from us, and the heavenly blast overtook those who were unjust, so they became motionless corpses in their abodes, as if they had never dwelt there. Behold, 
Away with people of Madian, even as were cast away the people of Thamud. And indeed we sent Moses with our signs and a manifest authority. Unto Pharaoh and his chiefs, but they followed the command of Pharaoh, and the command of Pharaoh was not rightly guided. He shall go before his people on the day of resurrection, and lead them into the fire, and evil is the place they will be led to. And they are followed by a curse in this world and on the day of judgment, and woeful is the gift which shall be given them. O our apostle, this is of the tidings of the towns which we relate to you. Some of them are still standing, and some have been mown down. And we did no injustice unto them, but they were unjust unto themselves. When the decree of your Lord came, their gods, whom they invoked other than Allah, availed them not anything, and they increased them naught but perdition. And such is the grasp of punishment of your Lord when he grasps the townships that are unjust. Verily his grasp, punishment, is painful, severe. Surely in that is a sign for him who fears the chastisement in the hereafter. That is a day when mankind are to be gathered to, and that day witnessed by all. And we do not postpone it but to an appointed term. The day when it comes, no soul shall speak but by his permission. Then some of them shall be wretched, and some happy. Then as for those who are wretched, they shall be in the fire, for them therein will be moaning and sighing. They will abide therein so long as the heavens and the earth endure, except as your Lord pleases. Verily your Lord is the mighty doer of what he intends. And as for those who are happy, they shall be in paradise, abiding therein, so long as the heavens and the earth endure, except as your Lord pleases, a gift without a break. So be not then in doubt as to what these men worship. They worship nothing but what their fathers worshipped before them, and verily we shall pay them back in full their portion undiminished. And we certainly gave Moses the book, then variance was created in it, and had not a word gone forth before from your Lord, the matter would have been decided between them, but they are in grave doubt concerning it. And certainly to all will your Lord recompense them their deeds in full, verily he is aware of what they do. Therefore stand firm, O Prophet, as you are commanded, and also he who has turned unto Allah with you. And O men, do not transgress from the path, verily he sees well what you do. And do not incline to those who are unjust, lest the fire will touch you, and you have no protectors other than Allah, nor shall you be helped. And establish the prayer at the two ends of the day and at the approaches of the night. Verily the good deeds remove evil deeds. That is a reminder for the mindful. And be patient and steadfast, for verily Allah does not waste the reward of the righteous ones. But why were there not among the generations before you persons possessed understanding and authority, prohibiting people from mischief in the earth, except a few whom we saved from among them, and those who were unjust pursued what they were made to enjoy, and they were guilty. Nor would your Lord destroy the townships unjustly while their people acted well. And had your Lord willed, he would have made mankind a single people, yet they cease not differing, except those on whom your Lord has mercy, and for that mercy did he create them and the word of your Lord has been fulfilled. Certainly I will fill hell with jinn and the mankind together. And all that we relate to you of the account of the messengers is something in order that with it we make firm your heart, and in this there has come to you the truth, and an admonition and a reminder to the believers. And say to those who do not believe, Act according to your ability, we shall do our part and wait you, we too are surely waiting. And to Allah alone belong the unseen of the heavens and the earth, and to him the whole affairs will be returned. Then worship him, 
and put all your trust in him, and your Lord is not heedless of what you do. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Alif Lam Ra. These are the verses of the book which makes the truth manifest. Verily we have sent it down, an Arabic Qur'an, that you may understand. We relate unto you the best of stories, by that we have revealed to you this Qur'an, though before this you were of those who did not know. When Yusuf said to his father, O my father, verily I did see, dreamt, eleven stars and the sun and the moon, I saw them prostrating themselves unto me. He, Jacob, said, O my little son, do not relate your vision to your brothers lest they devise a plot against you, for Satan is to man a manifest enemy. And thus will your Lord choose you and teach you the interpretation of sayings, dreams, and perfect his favour to you and to the posterity of Jacob, even as he perfected it to your fathers Abraham and Isaac aforetime. Verily your Lord is all-knowing, all-wise. Certainly there are signs of Allah's sovereignty in the story of Yusuf and his brothers for the inquirers. When they said, Verily Yusuf and his brother Benjamin are dearer to our father than we, while we are a strong group. Verily our father is in manifest error. Slay Yusuf, or cast him out to some far land, so that your father's attention may be given on you exclusively and you may be after that by repentance a righteous people. Said a speaker among them, Do not slay Yusuf, and if you must do it, throw him into the bottom of the well, so that some caravan of travellers may pick him up. They said, O oh, our father, what cause is with you that you do not trust us with Yusuf, and verily we are his sincere well-wishers? Send him with us tomorrow to enjoy himself and play and verily we shall take every care of him. He said, Verily it saddens me that you should take him away, and I fear lest the wolf devours him while you are heedless of him. They said, If the wolf were to devour him while we are a strong group, then we should be losers. So when they did take him with them, and they agreed to put him in the bottom of the well, and we revealed unto him, you will certainly inform them of this deed of theirs while they know you not. And they came to their father at nightfall, weeping. They said, O oh, our father, verily we went off racing and left Yusuf with our things. Then the wolf devoured him, but you will never believe us, even though we be truthful. And they brought his shirt with false blood on it. He said, No, your guilty selves have made a matter light for you. For me patience is good, and Allah is he whose help is to be sought against what you describe. Then there came a caravan of travellers. They sent their water drawer for water, and he let down his bucket. He said, O oh, good news, this is a youth. So they hid him as a merchandise, while Allah is aware of what they do. And they sold him for a small price, of a few dirhams counted out, and in him they had no interest. And he of Egypt who bought him said to his wife, Receive him honorably, maybe he will profit us, or we shall adopt him as a son. Thus did we establish Yusuf in the land, and that we might teach him the interpretation of tales, dreams, and Allah is predominant over his affair, but most people do not know. And when he reached his prime, maturity, we gave him wisdom and knowledge, and thus do we reward the doers of good. And the woman in whose house he was sought to seduce him from his self, and she closed the doors and said, Come here. He said, I seek refuge in Allah. Verily he is my Lord. He made good my abode. Verily the unjust do not prosper. And indeed she desired him and he would have desired her if he had not seen the evidence of his Lord. Thus it was that we turned away from him evil and indecency. Verily he was one of our chosen servants, sincere and purified. And they both raced to the door, and she tore his shirt from the back. 
They both found her husband by the door. She said, What is the punishment for him who intends evil to your wife, save he be imprisoned or a painful chastisement? He said, She it was who sought to seduce me from my pure self, and a witness from her own family bore witness. If it be that his shirt is torn from the front, then she speaks the truth, and he is of the liars. And if his shirt is torn from the back, then she tells a lie, and he is of the truthful ones. So when he, the Aziz, saw his shirt was torn from behind, he said, Verily it is of the guile of you women, truly your guile is great. O Yusuf, overlook this matter, and you, O my wife, ask forgiveness for your sin, for surely you are of the wrongdoers. And some women in the city said, The wife of the Aziz has sought to seduce her slave from his pure self. He has affected her with love. Verily we see her in manifest error. So when she heard about their malicious talk, she sent for them and prepared a repast for them. Then she gave each one of them a knife, and said to him, Yusuf, Come forth to them. When they saw him, they extolled him, and in their amazement cut their hands, and said, exclaimed, Allah blameless, this is not a human being, this is not other than a noble angel. She said, This is before you he about whom you did blame me, and indeed I sought to seduce him from his pure self, but he proved continent, and now if he does not do what I command him, he shall certainly be imprisoned, and will certainly be of the humiliated. He said, My lord, the prison is dearer to me than that to which they invite me, and if you turn not their guile from me, I may incline towards them, and become of the ignorant ones. So his lord answered him, and he turned away from him their guile. Verily he is the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Then it seemed to them, after they had seen the signs of his innocence, to imprison him till a time. And with him there entered into the prison two youths. One of them said unto Yusuf, I saw in my dream myself pressing wine. The other said, I saw in my dream myself carrying on my head bread from which the birds were eating. Tell us its interpretations. Verily we see you of the righteous ones. He said, There shall not come to you the food with which you are fed, but I will inform you both of its interpretation before it comes to you. This is of what my Lord has taught me. Verily I have abandoned the religion of a people who do not believe in Allah, and they are disbelievers in the hereafter. And I have followed the religion of my fathers, Ibrahim, Ishaq, and Ya'qub. It is not right for us to associate anything with Allah. That is of Allah's favor upon us and upon mankind. But most people do not give thanks. O oh, my two mates of the prison, are many diverse lords better, or Allah, the one, the all-dominant? You do not worship besides him but mere names which you have named, you and your fathers, for which Allah has not sent down any authority. Judgment belongs only to Allah. He has commanded that you worship none but him. That is the right religion, but most people do not know. O oh, my two mates of the prison, as for one of you, he shall pour out wine for his lord to drink, whereas the other will be crucified and the birds shall eat on his head. The matter is decreed about which you do inquire. And he said to him whom he knew would be saved of the two, Mention me to your lord. However, Satan caused him to forget to mention him to his lord. So he, Yusuf, remained in prison a few years. And once the king of Egypt said, Verily I saw in a dream seven fat cows which seven lean cows were eating, and seven green ears of corn and other seven dry. O chiefs of my court, explain to me my dream, if you are able to interpret dreams. They said, Confused medley of dreams they are, and we do not know the interpretation of such confused dreams. And of the two prisoners, he who had been released remembered Yusuf after a time and said, I will inform you of its interpretation, so send me to Yusuf. Yusuf, 
O truthful one, expound to us regarding the dream of seven fat cows which seven lean ones were devouring, and seven green ears of corn and other seven dry, that I may go back to the people that they may know. He said, You shall sow for seven consecutive years, and that which you have harvested, you leave it in its ear, except a little whereof you eat. Then after that, seven years of hardship will come, that people will consume what you have beforehand laid up for them, except a little of what you will have preserved. Then there will come after that a year in which the people will have rain, and in it they will press wine and oil. So the king said, Bring him to me. Then when the messenger came to him, he, Yusuf, said, Go back unto your lord and ask him, What was the case of the women who cut their own hands? Verily my lord is aware of their guile. He, the king, said to the women, What was the matter with you women when you sought to seduce Yusuf from his pure self? They answered, Allah blameless, we know no evil of him. The wife of the Aziz said, Now the truth has become manifest. I it was who sought to seduce him from his pure self, and verily he is of the truthful ones. Yusuf said, That, so that he the Aziz may know that I have not betrayed him in secret, and that Allah does not guide the device of the treacherous.